Hello, my name is Daryl Sutton. I am the pastor of Hayes Family Worship Center here in Kansas, and I am honored to be able to read a scripture verse with you today and encourage you in the Lord. Let me say a few things about a merry heart, and I want to read from Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 13 says, a merry heart makes a cheerful countenance. And also in verse 15, he that is of a merry heart has a continual feast. Do you realize that a merry heart creates and produces a facial expression of joy? And since the heart is the throne in which Christ reigns in our lives, that's where joy is the seat of authority. And if you consider it, anyone that is a happy person has a continual feast. This is what Proverbs is talking about. Solomon is saying that anywhere you find a feast, you'll find endless supply. You'll find a lot of people, a lot of excitement. And I believe this is exactly what you have when God gives you a merry heart. On top of that, Proverbs 17 says, a merry heart works like a medicine. So if you've ever wanted a ministry of healing, if during this time of prayer and consecration, you're wanting to be used by God to help restore and reconcile relationships, I promise you that a merry heart, it is something that captivates. It is attractive. People can see it on you and your facial expression tells the story of what God is doing on the inside. So as we think about this during this period of prayer and reflection, Ask yourself, do you have a merry heart? Are you growing in grace and in knowledge? And are you ready to reach out and touch people who are broken and wounded? Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would create in our friends a heart that really does operate like a medicine. I pray that a merry heart would develop and grow and would overflow with the joy of the Lord. I pray that their countenance every day would radiate with the joy of the Lord, which truly is our strength. We love you. God bless you. Be encouraged.